And Neighborhood Watch presents live in studio with Supreme Cerebro. What's good, player? What's good? What's good? Chilling, man. Chilling. I see you. Uh, you got that New York hat on right there, right? Of course, baby. Yankees. Is that where you're from? You from New York? Originally from Brooklyn. Yeah, East Flatbush. That's what's up. Tell us a little bit about uh, growing up in Brooklyn. Uh, man, I left Brooklyn when I was uh, six years old, but I used to go back every summer. So I used to spend the summers there. How was so, it? How was that? It was. It was. You know. It's the feel of the city, man. It's, a, it's you could feel the city breathing. You know what I mean? That's what's up. They they depict it pretty well in movies. So is it is it like what you see in in, in these movies? It just depends on what neighborhood you in. Right. You know what I'm saying every every borough is different. Every neighborhood inside of the boroughs is different. So you know what I mean. Being from uh, East Flatbush though is just. It's a little bit more hood over there, so. Okay, okay, and is that where you got uh, your first taste of, of this hip hop shit? Uh, yeah, in New York when I was little, but my brother pretty much, I got two older brothers, so like both of my older brothers put me on pretty much, you know what I mean? So did, did, the, were they uh, MCs too, or, or nah? Just actually, they're uh, they're both, showing you the roots. Yeah, they're both into um, rock and roll music pretty much, okay. you know what I'm saying? But they, I mean, they they fuck with hip hop, but. Not like I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much the only one in my immediate family that's really into hip hop. Okay, any other like musicians in the family or Yeah, it... man. My okay. my pops is sixty seven. He still plays the drums in a blues band. Oh, that's what's up. Uh my both my brothers are in bands, uh rock bands, you know what I'm saying? Uh my mom played the flute for a, a traveling orchestra when she was little. So So you doing this, this is nothing new to, to yeah, the Yeah, I'm the only one that doesn't play an instrument, so I guess my mouthpiece was my instrument. There you go, the microphone, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, uh talk about uh you when when did you make the move over uh to the West Coast? Uh when I was when I was little, you know. Oh, like, oh, like, oh like so six. when you did move? Yeah, yeah. So I, I've been I've been in LA, I've been in Orange County, I've been in Inland Empire, like I've been Okay, all so around. you're almost a West Coast cat. Oh, well. I'm, a, I'm a straight West Coast oh, cat. Okay, I just got, I just got, you know, a New York demeanor to me. Just, you got know, got you, got you. Yeah, my my vibe is more East Coast. You know what I mean? And so you're you're a a New York fan. Uh, I mean, a Yankees fan. So it's fuck Boston, right? Nah, man. Now when it comes to playing the Dodgers, it's pretty much go Boston. Oh <laughs> shit! All right, I see what's you happening I mean? here. I don't really care for neither <laughs> one of them teams. Uh, but the Dodgers left Brooklyn, so right, we, we don't we don't fuck with the Dodgers. Right, right. Man, I so. had to get a reaction from you. I had to hear yeah, what, what was yeah. up. The only Dodger hat I wear is an upside down LA. Okay, okay. Yeah, got you. Got That's kind of like you know, like a low blow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. But, um, but motherfuckers be like, that's a dope hat. And I'm like, you a Dodger fan? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you don't get it then. <laughs> right. The inside joke, man. Yeah, yeah. Inside the cap. All right. Um, outside, we were talking a little bit about Planet Asia, and you were saying how uh, we got a show coming up on November 6th. Yeah. And uh, you're going to be part of that show. Um, talk yeah. a little bit about Planet Asia. I know you guys have a feature together, right? The uh, Well, no, I'm from GCM, so I'm from Gold Chain Military. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the general, you know what I mean? So uh, I've been messing with PA now for about 10 years. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's my brother, bro. He's like an older brother to me, him and Tri-State, you know, General Monks. Hell yeah. So both of them brothers right there, that's like my OGs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's Gold Chain all day. Gold Chain and uh, PRR, you know, Poison Ring Regime. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the songs you you worked on with him, and how he is as a musician, professional, well, all that. Yeah, we usually build at Dig Spot, Dirt Dig Spot. Shout out Digs. Um, that's the in-house producers for GCM. Okay. Um, so, like, we have I think me and PA got like five songs together, something like that, five or six joints. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like uh, it just happens organically. You know, every time it happens, because we be in the studio together, he'd be like, "Prem, I need you on this." I rarely ask him for features, you know what I mean? Because I don't like to oversaturate it. Right. But uh, whenever I need something from him, you know, he always comes through for me. So that's love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was looking up uh, some of your music, and I saw the uh, the Master Builders project. Yeah, um, shout out Clip, though. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, we put that out 2016. That was uh, that was the last thing. I, the, the year before that, I put out a mixtape. And then the year before that, I had put out Loop Dreams. Loop Dreams kind of made people start to notice me, you know what I mean? And I was doing the loops when nobody was doing the loops. I made a whole album just full of loops, no drums, just full so. of loops. So I've been on that wave way before, like it was pop how it's popular now. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. was on that shit way before then. And then uh, Master Builders came along cause my man Banish was like, uh, I know this cat in Diego named Clipto. He's like, you should fuck with him. He's got crazy beats and I think y'all style would mesh well. 
So I hit him one day. He was like, I'm a fan of yours. You know, I've been listening to you. And then we just went from there, you know what I'm saying? And then we started building on that. And um, yeah, we did that. And then we did the deluxe. We put out the deluxe like three months after that with uh, another four songs. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Yeah. That, that album cover, what, what was the uh, inspiration on that? And uh, who, who who put that together? Um, I put that, that album artwork together. That, that shit is nice, dude. It's yeah, fun. I just, um, the inspiration was the title pretty much so i had a group with um born son who's a cannabis hype man a part of the sharpshooters and we were called uh master builders this was probably 2015 2014 uh but that that nothing ever manifests from that you know what i'm saying nothing ever came to fruition from that you know what i'm saying so we uh we never went through with that so i always wanted to name an album master builders okay. and then when i met clipto i knew that that was going to be the album called master builders that's some dope uh, history about that that's cool that's cool as hell yeah definitely man and then after that you know we just kept moving now i drop shit like every every two months nice nice <laughs> nice so someone who hasn't seen you live what uh what could they expect when uh when you when you hit the stage it just depends bro like i i get real uninspired by like weak audiences all right like if they're not really into it because they might not know who i am and they just came to see their little friend and then they want to bounce like i you might see me and be like oh, his shit was whack or you know what i mean or his shit was uninspired because i do get uninspired from that so it's a, a feed off of the the it's energy pretty from much the crowd, yeah, right? how, the, how the crowd is you know what i'm saying like if it's a usually man when i go to the east like it's crazy out there because they know who i am you know what i mean because they play my shit on shade 45 all the time right so like the East Coast audience knows who I am more than I guess you could say my even hometown West Coast audience. You know? Yeah. So it just depends, bro. Like I did the Observatory from like 2013 to 2015. We we did well over like a hundred some shows. Oh shit. We were doing every anybody that came through, bro. You from from Mob Deep to to anybody in between, bro. We was there. MF Doom, like KRS One. Uh, any kind of Wu Tang, Method Man, Raekwon, Ghostface, like I, I opened up for all them, bro, and that's, that's a dope. big audience, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So when I get in that kind of audience, my space is different, cause then I'm able to rock, cause it's a crowd, you know what I mean? No, for sure. Sometimes when you do these small shows, it's not really a crowd, you know what I'm saying? Or they act, you know, they act, you know, disinterested, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's the 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 market's kind of oversaturated with the, with a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, going on it's because everybody and their mom raps. You know what I mean? Right. You and know. then you get it when you do these. Or tries to rap. Yeah, when you do small shows too, you're usually just performing in front of straight rappers. Yeah. So it's like you know they not gonna show you love because they looking in their mind like yo I do the same thing you know what I'm saying? So yeah you know and a lot of people are just haters in general you know what i'm saying that is 100 true so i don't let Fuck none of that guys. yeah i don't let none of that bother me you know why because all the like dj premier plays my my records dj eclipse tony touch static selector like everybody who's important to the culture like that well the little you know scene i'm in yeah they play my music and that's all that matters if you got and their that's attention, what matters bro shit yeah that's what matters like having the attention of these little rappers or these little kids or like the little bullshit people that don't really truly love hip-hop they just say they do yeah like i'm not even interested in that because they not paying my bills you know what i mean they usually not even the ones buying anything from me so right yeah they're they're uh they're and, just and in, I got, they're in the way yeah i got they're gnats <laughs> and i got you know so much shit for sale you know what i mean i got I put out already this year four albums and I got an album dropping on Halloween so shit that's uh, right around the corner yeah and then I got another one dropping uh, in December so I got I got this Nightmares EP coming out on Halloween it's four joints uh, by my man Crab School from um, Winnipeg he did all, right. all the beats we're definitely gonna get back into talking a little bit about, about what you got coming up but uh you mind uh, rocking a little uh, 16 for us yeah let's do it alright for sure Yes, yes. Neighborhood Watch presents live in the studio with Supreme Cerebral at Ill Remedy Studios, Los Angeles, California. Yo, yeah. we're gonna uh, open it up. You ready to rock that? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Supreme Cerebral, Bugsy Nino, you know. Yeah. 
Giuseppe Chick taste, switch blades, split your wave in six ways. Wrist glaze, whip cane, show you how this dick tastes. Mistake this face, use your ass as fish bait. Piss stain, fuck boy, you fucking with an insane. Psycho, my nice clothes is part of the pimp game. Switch lanes with sensei, my shit great since fifth grade. I'm on a higher plane. You a liar lame, bag a dame with the same game as Rick James I'm a super freak physique, rather too unique To the beat of a drum, I patternize my speech I speak creep, turn your kids to mince meat Doing drive-bys on 10 speeds, it's that deep Clap heat through your chest plate Me, I strategize with my rhymes like some chest pay Me, I never lie, getting cars from them essays The devil's in disguise, realize my vision's x-ray Supreme Brooklyn, West Coast, what's up? We here with Supreme Cerebro. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up with the name, dude? That's an ill-ass name. Yeah, a lot of people think I got it from the little Wu-Tang thing where they was giving out names back in the day. <laughs> I've never pe- heard that. That's a lot, what's up. A lot of people think I got it from that, which I've been Supreme forever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I got my name from Kenneth McGriff, the original Supreme from uh, New York. Okay. Yeah, from Queens, the big drug dealer. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So hell I got yeah. my name from him. And in New York, you can't really go by Supreme unless you're really doing shit. You know what I mean? All right. So, um, yeah. You'll pull your card real quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real quick, man. They'll they'll, uh, they'll put you on blast in front of everybody. You know what I mean? But uh, also, you know what I'm saying, through uh, having knowledge of self, you know what I'm saying, and studying uh, my 120 and everything, you know, Supreme Mathematics. So Supreme is, is, is the ultimate, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Cerebro is the mind, so basically I'm the ultimate mind. And if you listen to my, my raps, you kind of get that, you know what I mean? Yeah, we were uh, talking about your music. So uh, one, one more time, what, what you got coming out? You said you got a few projects coming up. And, yeah, uh, I got uh, The Nightmares. It's called Nightmares. It's a four tracks. Um, it's Mike Myers, Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, and Pinhead. Those are the names of the tracks. Dope, dope, dope. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, a little something. I don't usually really get into the holidays like that, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or into um, Halloween like that, but uh, I was kind of in the mood this year. I've been watching a lot of horror movies lately. That's what's up. So it kind of just put me in the, in the feel for it, you know what I'm saying? And the beats are real, real, real dark and grimy. Nah. So, yeah, it's murderous, man. It's, it's dope. And then I got Gaddafi coming at the end of the year. Gaddafi's a full-length album. It's probably going to be like 15 to 17 songs. So different producers or all kind of people yeah man all kind of different producers um everybody dude uh, i got vinyl villain on there rob de niro uh clip those on there my man curse my man dmar um dirt digs on there a, a bunch of people man a bunch of people uh giallo point out of out of london yep. yeah i got i got a lot of people on there man i've been i've been like accumulating tracks for a minute for that for that album uh, I just dropped King's Throne 2, which was the sequel to last year's King's Throne, the first one. So And, and uh, you got a, a website up or, or how? Uh, yeah, it's, the it's all way on, for every, people to everything's on Bandcamp, but I'm pretty much going to dead my Bandcamp at the end of the year and have my own website. It'll be SupremeCerebral.com. Awesome. But uh, right now it's BugsyNino17.Bandcamp.com. And um, I have like, I don't know, maybe like eight, nine albums for sale. I got physicals for everything. I got sweaters. I got jackets. My shit is, my shit is lit. So what, uh, what, what keeps you inspired to keep uh, putting out music at, at this rate and with this much quality? I don't know, bro. Like, um, somebody asked me in an interview like a couple months ago. They were like, how much time do you spend on music? And I told dude, probably like five hours a week. And he was like, he didn't really believe me and shit. He said shit. no fucking way. He's like, how you do that? Because, like, the thing is, I'll sit down and write raps. My my writing period is from, like, 12 midnight to, like, 4 in the morning every single night. Like, that's my that's my writing times if I'm yeah. going to write raps. Like, I don't write raps in the daytime at all. Uh-huh. So the, the process is just kind of like, you know, I'll go through beats. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm focused and I know what I want to do. But a lot of times I'm just going through beats, trying to figure out what I like. And then I'll put a bunch of beats together. And then I'll just start, you know, knocking them out <clears throat> each song, you know what I'm saying? And then getting features and everything. The inspiration just comes from knowing that I'm dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even to, you know, boast or brag or nothing shit like that, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, I listen to people's music, you know what I'm saying? And I know I could rap better than a lot of people. <laughs> so it's, it's just a matter of, you know what I'm saying? You still got to be humble, but, you know, we're in a competitive sport, so you also have to, you know, have that cocky feel to you. 100%. You know and that's kind of what fuels me is is people giving people I know I'm better than more love than they give me. 
So I'm always like trying to prove people, you know what I'm saying? The what underdog it, mentality. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have that that, you know, and I'm a big guy and I'm and I'm not like very friendly. So it's <laughs> it's kind of like uh, you know, like people don't really want to fuck with me sometimes because I'm not like your normally like, you know, kiss ass friendly dude, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. I'm I'm just me, you know? I'm just myself. In a sense reserved, but Yeah, I, and it sometimes it just comes off probably different, you know what I'm saying? But if I don't know you and I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. That's just my mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna kiss your ass just because you might you might have you know put some shit out through a company overseas and your shit sold crazy you know what I mean like that that don't make you you know what I'm saying there's motherfuckers that are absolutely terrible at this thing we call rap that are getting <laughs> paid way more than all of us underground cats yeah so you know that's why like it's it's there's a lot of arrogance and stupidity in this underground thing people think they're like you know the ones you know what i'm saying and i'm like bro you sold a hundred vinyls like congratulations <laughs> bro it's it's a hundred like do do that sell twenty thousand sell fifty thousand yeah sell a hundred thousand vinyls you know what i'm saying like do that bro and then and then start boasting you know what i mean people how, just get overzealous too quick nowadays how um and you're a hundred percent on all that you motherfuckers need to chill out yeah everybody's a fucking superstar but um, how uh, how are you getting responses from people overseas with your music? Oh, uh, that's where my main audience is. So besides the East Coast, like you know what I'm saying, like overseas is everything for me. I always find that funny how how it works out that way, right? It's, like your hometown. It's because is the underground is is that's it's prevalent out there. You know what I mean? Like it's big out there. It means a lot out there. They still buy vinyl. They still there's collectors you know what i mean like you don't get that many collectors nowadays and if you do they're old cats they're in their 40s you know which is like a majority of the dudes that'll say that i'm super nice are the guys that are in their 40s you know late 30s early 40s they'd be like oh you the nicest one out and i'm like yeah because you get it because you from my era you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah it's it's uh it's a crazy thing but uh west coast people you gotta uh Fucking start paying attention, man. This is some ill ass shit going down, and yeah. But you see, when 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 it starts to pop pop like it's going to in the next couple of years, then everybody's gonna jump on my dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's when everybody will jump on my dick and, and be like, "Oh, I've been a fan of yours forever," you know. Da, 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 da. And you're like, "Shut the fuck up, bro." And, that, and that's super dope that you already have that mentality. You kind of already see it, you know. Yeah, I'm like, you know, like it happens now. People be like, "Oh, I didn't even know you were dope." Like they hit me on a DM, like and they follow <laughs> everybody and their mom, and they don't follow me. And I see it, you know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. know how uh, Instagram and all that is, they'll show you shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'll be like, "Oh, he don't fuck with me." I'm like, "Okay, cool." And then out of nowhere, I get the DM and shit. Yo, I didn't even know about you. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah. Uh, whatever yeah. how do you feel about that uh social media this era that we're in this, this shit I mean, is weird it's a, huh? it's a gift and a curse bro which you know that's technology in a whole anyways is a yeah. gift and a curse you know what i'm saying it'd probably be the downfall of humans but it's also something <laughs> that you know pushes us so far forward you know what i mean and i love it because i could reach all the people overseas bro you know what i mean yeah so that's that's why I love it. We you know we mean? have a, a totally different reach to to an audience now that we didn't that have that I would never have. Yeah, and I remember when I was putting out music like uh, 2009, 2010, bro, and it wasn't really popping like that. There was no Instagram. There was no none of that shit. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, and I wasn't doing as well as I'm doing now. It's just crazy how like the internet, you know, can transform everything. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, like you said, a, a, a gift and a curse. Yeah, it's a platform, man. No matter what, it's an international platform, and that's all you could really ask for in life is to get a platform, you know what I mean, so that you could display what you have. Neighborhood Watch presents live in studio with Supreme Cerebral. Can we get a, uh, another 16 from you? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Live at Ill Remedy Studios. Ooh. Yeah, Supreme, <clears throat> yeah, uh-huh, yeah, Neighborhood Watch, Supreme Cerebral, let's go, yo, 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 
Mathematicians couldn't calculate this mad musician. My ammunition spitting written with bad intentions. We pitching Pyrex vision up in the kitchen. Wrong decisions, small incisions within my wisdom. Demonic comic, comic chronic. I'm supersonic, bionic, tonic, ironic knowledge. I promise to be upon it. My honest face, guardian of cosmic gates. Oyster perpetual roly with the day and day. Um. With the wild bees, bathe in apes, solar winds, polar pins, cold as my older gyms, raps hustle. Feel the wrath of fast knuckles. I'm past Russell. Death of jams with mass muscle. Supreme cerebral, aka Bugsy Nino. Coke C notes, steal your car and frame repo. I'm evil. If rap was cancer, I write chemo. Mandingo, the seven do suit, it was called lingo. Cuz dead in the middle of little Italy. Literally, it'd be finicky for anyone in the vicinity. My enemy's energy generally diddly. Squiddily, the Genevieve's kin me mentally darker than Hennessy the most. I toast gross funds on boats, roast goats, scope folks, yokes, slinging the coke. They call me Preem. I rock chicks like Layla Ali, so y'all can kiss your ass goodbye and say la vie. Wah. Neighborhood Watch presents live at Ill Remedy Studios. Serene Cerebro. Yes, sir. That shit was fire right there, man. Ah, good luck. Motherfucking fire. Man, uh, we want to really thank you uh, for coming out and uh, doing this interview for us. I know you yeah. could be a busy man and uh, taking time for us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Sunday's a good day for me. It's my day off. There we go. <laughs> uh, tell uh, tell everyone one more time where uh, they can find your information, your music, and all that. You can follow me on any social media. It's at Bugsy Nino. That's B-U-G-Z-Y-N-I-N-O. Uh, my uh, website right now is bugsynino17.bandcamp.com uh, there's like I think you can get over like 13 projects on there there's a bunch of free stuff too I got free mixtapes on there and stuff like that or you could buy merch you know what I'm people saying people love free stuff don't yeah they? you could yeah I mean I, I usually do that every year too I give away uh, one album for free so that's kind of like something I like to do for the fans like uh, this year, I gave away uh, Soul Soul Glow, which is the first uh, EP I did this year with my man Free Mind from uh, Nickerson Gardens. Shout out Watts, man. Watts up, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of free shit on there that you can go. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to support the cause, you could at least you know support the cause in another way. <laughs> Get them streams up. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Once again, man. Thank you and. Uh, uh we hope uh, a lot of success goes your way, brother. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for having me, man. Shout out Neighborhood Watch Show. It's all love, baby. November 6th, we got Planet Asia live in Covina, California at Katie Jakes. Also playing Serene Cerebral. We got Cola Crew, Giants Music, Matt Murdochs, J. Roz, DJ Ethos. We got Roz of all, as always there holding the downs on the ones and twos. Yeah. See y'all there.